when it says live we're live that's live so it's okay yep good good evening everyone and uh, welcome to this first show um this is a live broadcast we hope that everybody uh you will like it uh we're here just to uh, a bit explain who we are what we do and show you a bit more about the product so here are our four attendees that are here uh, let me present you. Um, they will. I uh, will leave them to talk about it. So uh, that's where we're going to start. It's our first live podcast, so please apologies for all the errors. And uh, we're not really. Uh, I'm not a broadcaster. I'm not uh, even at CNN. Oops, I can't say name. So uh, yeah. um, <laughs> so it will be our first. But we hope that um, some of you can be able to see what we're doing. And we can, if you have any questions at the end of the show, uh, you'll be able to uh, ask them um, and please enjoy. So let's start first. Um, Ian, Steve, or Mattinson, just a brief introduction. Um, and then we can go deep dive into what is really a server. Okay. Let's start from the, let's start from the top. Let's, let's just start up there. Okay, so which so Steve you first? Okay, right. so, so my go. name go oh, go. <laughs> yes, you you first. <laughs> <laughs> so my name is Guillaume Jallery. I'm CEO and founder of, of O Company. Um, today, I would like to introduce part of the team uh, and show you what they are here about it, um, and we will explain you why we do it for which is the most important thing, we want to protect data and recreate a real product through it. That's why you will be able to know very highly skilled people uh, that are around the team with the same goal that we have. Um, so I'm going to let first to introduce uh, Steve, who will go first, then we'll go by order of people. Um, and then, or Ian or Martinson, you go. So we go top from down. So I'm Steve Glazer, I'm the CTO. And uh, Guillaume and I have been working together since December of 2021 to start putting all of this together. And we've amassed an amazing team. We're actually getting through all the product and we wanted to talk about servers and the product that we're gonna give to everyone as soon as possible. Uh, Ian? Hi, I'm Ian. Uh, I'm in charge of uh, security and dirty tricks and compliance and such and keeping the product safe. So that's my that's what I'm up to here. All right, I am Madison. I am the social media director here to kind of help bridge that gap when it comes to social media, digital media in general. Uh, my background is within that kind of thing and broadcasting and some, the, all the wonderful little nerdy things. So I'm excited. That's cool. Perfect. <laughs> Between a tricky uh, podcast and uh, technical and secret things, it's gonna be fun. Uh, this is going to be a great, a great little live show. So let's start first with um, what is a server, because mainly problem uh, people don't just understand that the cloud is an enormous cloud up and no, but it's way more easier than just that. Um, and we're going to start to bit to deep dive into a bit the story about what was the servers back in the nineties. Uh, you have here around people that has touched computers since they were born. Uh, so we have all the, some like video games, some like movies, we have already have a bit of fun. So we know what, how the cloud has been turning down. So I'm gonna leave um, to start with the questions and uh, we can start deep dive. So what is for you a server uh, at the base of it? So you're asking me the question without even throwing me a handle. So uh, the old days. No, no, yeah, but I was just gonna, I'm kidding. Yeah, the old <laughs> days. The old days when servers were servers, and uh, for me it would be a Sun One, which is the first real server I ever came into contact with. Okay, that's not true, but I will say in a work environment, and it basically filled up an entire room with drive bays that were I don't know eight feet deep. That you had to slide these things out. They were massive. There is no way you were going to be able to have that in your home. Uh, fast forward, then I was working on DEC 3100s. That's Digital Equipment Corporation, really old stuff, old HP kind of stuff. 
you were lucky if you could have one of those in your home because you'd probably have a 300 baud modem. Yes, I said 300, uh, very slow. So it was really difficult to dial up. There was no such thing. And then AOL came out and then people were still trying to access all of their files, which you couldn't share. So then they had to come up with a bunch of networking technology so that servers could then be servers with everyone else. So you may have heard of things called token ring or some other sort of stuff. There's lots of different networking protocols. Slowly but surely all of that grew. You still couldn't share files. <laughs> it just got nightmarish. So anytime you were trying to share anything with someone at work, it was horrible. If you tried to share anything with anyone at home, you would use email and you'd send it and he goes, I'm sorry, that's over 100 megabyte. You cannot send that. I just said 100. I will tell you that it used to be a limit of 256K to send something in an email. So it was horrible. Like you couldn't send stuff to your parents. You couldn't share it with your cousins. Really fast forward a long way. This is when the cloud came about. I was working at Citrix at the time. And the nice thing was, is we spent a lot of our career trying to teach everyone what the word cloud meant. And the cloud's been big. So people find it, quote unquote, more convenient to share. But a lot of stuff came with that. And so a server has really lost its name. It's not really a server anymore. Um, it's really kind of interesting the way that works out. And I just wish that um, now that we've been talking about doing the Omini server, now you're going to have a server that you can take with you anywhere you want. And you're wearing it on your wrist. This is a wristband. So a lot of people are going to go, server, but server's in the cloud, isn't it? And it's like, no, we're taking you back, way back machine. Um, you know, help Mr. Wizard. We're taking you into the way back machine. We're going to actually put a server on your body so you can carry it with you. And now you're able to do a whole lot more. So let's just remember the word server is really, this is really a server. I guess client server has been dead about 20 years, hasn't it? I guess it's, uh, <laughs> That's exactly I guess it's pretty fair for people not to be, not not to not separate data and compute and storage it makes sense but Correct. uh yeah right. but when you can wear it when you install in one place and with you when you on the go and not you're not relying on other people's computers somewhere to keep to keep it safe who might have uh conflicting motivations it's uh, a <laughs> it's a good option what, and you, uh, Matt, since you are less with that, because what, uh, what for you, what is a server? Uh... A server is um, when you go to a restaurant, it's the person that takes your order. No. <laughs> yes. Uh... <laughs> yes, it's that. Yeah. You got it. Yeah, but, but I, mean, I guess in, in a sense, kind of, yes. Like it, it, gets, it gets directions, it holds information, and it distributes information at a large quantity, essentially. So... Yes, I was correct. To an you are, because we are serving you. The server needs to serve you and make things easier for you. And it's been so pushed away from you that you no longer have control. And one of the things that we've always talked about, and you'll see it on our website that we mentioned, it is data privacy. It's your privacy. All your stuff is yours. Why on earth should we be giving this to people we don't even know? It's And now I would know if I went on vacation and I decided that, you know, I was going to share with my neighbor because we've been very good friends for 10 or 15 years. That kind of a situation is good. I trust that person to, you know, hold on to some of my, you know, most important things while there's no one in the home for two weeks on vacation, right? That's when you feel comfortable. You don't feel comfortable anymore when you are putting files up. So at some point, everyone's pretty much just kind of given up on their own privacy. They're like, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it anymore, I guess. They're going to have it. They've got it already. And you're like, well, that's kind of a defeatist opinion, right? It's kind of like, shoot. So we should turn back and turn back the clock and give everybody their, their, their data back. So it's your data. And then when you choose to share it, it's really easy to share. So you think that's out of like uh, convenience, complacency? Our folks so the, really as white people, you mean as white people gave up? Yeah. 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 Yep. It's the convenience. You've been sold convenience that you thought was convenient. And as it turns out, it has a whole bunch of other baggage. Uh, so if anybody knows, you got to constantly, you know, pay an extra twenty-five bucks to take a suitcase on an airplane nowadays. Yeah, that's not convenient. <laughs> but we've kind of given up paying that twenty-five bucks a month to be able to have someone carry my bag to the airplane. Like seriously? Like what the heck? Like, and they're opening it. Like they open your suitcase, they go through, they rifle through your clothes, they look, you know, they take the candy bars you had inside your bag that you wanted when you got to your destination. I mean that. That's what we've got, right? All of a sudden. And they also know where you are and they know what you're going to wear and they know when you're going to wear it. You know, you're like, 
it, it's when it starts to kind of devolve on you and you do kind of give up. I, I come from a, Ian comes from a security background. I come from a SCI top secret background when I was in the Air Force. I don't want anybody to know what's going on. Like that's, it's not because I don't, it's not because I'm hiding things. It's because I just don't want anybody to see my daughter's pictures or my kids or, you know, that kind of thing, right? You don't need to see my stuff and you shouldn't be indexing my stuff. That makes me really mad. Like if I have a spreadsheet, I want that thing private. That's mine. And when I give it to my boss, I transfer it while I'm standing there. I, I don't, because it's got all our company stuff in it. Why would I want, why would I want that open? And that's exactly when he and I talked a long time ago. That's where we started to riff was, geez, you know, why, why would you want to do that? We need, we need nice little places where there's, there's a bunch of tripwires and there's no way that you can get to my stuff. Like you shouldn't be allowed to see my stuff unless I want to share it with you. You shouldn't be right. able to track me or find out that I took my picture in like somewhere in like Palm Springs or Las Vegas or Florida, you know, I was on the Florida Keys. You know, all that XF data, EXIF, XF data is in all your pictures. Somebody's indexing your stuff. They can get to the XF data. Yeah, sure. They don't get to see the bits at your picture, but they know where you were and they know what time you took the picture. And they, anyway, that's, I'm going to hand that to Ian because he knows exactly <laughs> where I'm going. <laughs> well, yeah. Back in the day when I used to hire people, we'd talk about, you know, oh yeah, well, you run your own mail server, right? You run your own web server, right? How does that, then you can talk about how they configured it. How do you, no, no one does any of that now. Now at best they have a cPanel set up and, or they, they really have no concept of server and they have no concept of data layer. They have no concept of how the, all the configs work and nor should they really. It's uh, it's, it's made, it's very simple today where everything's, uh, a strange monolith that they buy on the internet per hour or for whatever. But uh, with everything being in one location on, on your wrist, you're now, you don't have, you're not giving free access to everybody who has a relationship with those providers. Uh, and so that's a, uh, that's, it's a, not only do you not have to know how everything works to a lifestyle layer, you know, or your entire nerd world lives around like <laughs> keeping updated on, Oh, what did Linux do this week? You know, like yeah. what, what's like? Oh, is there a vulnerability in my web yes. server? Is is you know is is my is my is my server full of strange files that I don't want there? You know that kind of thing. So, yeah, that's a uh, that, so the 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 the, the 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 need to know everything has is gone, and now we can we can get to the what's actually useful uh, idea of consumerism, which I think is very encouraging. And the cloud pretty much has forced this to happen is because there's a lot of people that are just, you know, they gave up. So Madison, you're dead on, right? It's dead spot on. They're, they're like, they kind of gave up and they don't want to give up, but they've had to. And it's, it's kind of, I always call it, the, it's the gym membership, like conundrum, right? <laughs> you, you go in, you're all fired up, you go working out you, the second month, third month, then you find out you can never get into the pool when you want it, or you don't get to use the weights that you wanted. And, da, 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 and slowly but surely, hey, you know, I'm just going to do this from home. And then, all, and then all of a sudden, you're not going anymore, but you're still paying that bill, $24.99 a month. And you just keep paying it. And then it doesn't it doesn't dawn on you until you're like, you know, wait, where did that 25 bucks go? And it's, dag, now that I got to go cancel the thing. That's right. what's happening to some people, right? They start cutting back. They're like, well, I guess I got a phone, and that phone has a little bit more storage on it, so I'll try to put as much as I you burn that out because on purpose there's this little cabal of people saying well, let's not give them too much storage on their phone so right. that they're forced to push that stuff to the cloud and then the cloud says well you have to have this if you want to use this app and you're like this is getting ridiculous i can't even i can't even i can't even use instagram because so I, I don't goes, have enough room Go that ahead. kind of actually opens up to like the next part of like what is right. it made you know what is you know what is a server made for like like we kind of touch on it a little bit here or there but ooh can i give you a for instance yes so yes. like right now your cell phone is uh is so like oh you have backups in your cell phone that syncs with your cell phone provider probably is it encrypted maybe can they get into it probably you know like and then every app and every service usually people have a bunch of things that are uh, harvesting their contact information they might have an advertiser id that gives them a whole bunch of insight of who you are personally based on the data you have on your phone like uh, there's just ev everything's being synced and backed up to dozens of different companies that you have no awareness or autonomy of they'll update their terms of service like, be like oh our terms of service now are we get all your shit forever 
And uh, that's the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that, does anyone ever read a term of service? No one, no. I think, has ever read of terms of service unless they're a corporate attorney. I try. I, I do. I, yes. I read all of them. <laughs> Didn't I work out. I don't, I don't believe you. I don't contract without, without seeing the le little letter always. And when you see what they, wow, how they made that contract, we might be well able to do and show it. But it's funny that there is no warranty in, in the IT product. It's not like... When you have a phone that breaks or something that breaks, no, no others, those companies, we can't say names, but um, Fruity and Double O, and we can, <laughs> can name it in a very different way, but none of them gives you uh, a warranty that you lose your data or they don't give nothing. I agree yep. with you. It's, it's really, uh, it's mind blowing that they, you pay something. You buy a product, you pay something, and then you have notification every five seconds. Everything is updated, but you don't know what's happened to it. Will you do your that data is the product. Your car? No. Yeah. They're selling yeah. you as the product. You might pay them as well, but they'll sell your data in addition <laughs> yes. to whatever you're paying them. Yeah, I remember like recently talking to some folks about like, you know, um, <clears throat> some of these companies that you so mentioned, double O, for instance, uh, how <laughs> You know, they're always on, you know, they're always paying attention. And I spoke to someone and I was just like, so how do you feel about that? How do you feel about, you know, an entity knowing almost everything about you? And their response is, well, well, you know, I get some really great suggestions sometimes, you know, and when I go and buy things, I do that kind of stuff. And I'm just like, ah, you fallen into it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that too, you know, what you should then say is, well, how about if I hang out with you for four days and give you suggestions, even when you're asleep? And they're going to go, what? <laughs> It's like, yeah, while you're asleep, if you talk in your sleep, guess what? That stuff's anyway. You know, you're like, this is ridiculous. Like, I, I turn them all up. And now, now, Madison, by asking or by all of us talking about, you know, signing any terms of service, when Ian brought it up, right? There's four of us in the room that do read it. That's why we're making this product because we actually read these things. And after you've read one, you know, you know, they're all regurgitating the same thing. They copy and pasted the same damn paragraphs. They had the same damn lawyers wandering around like, going, yeah, let's say the same paragraph. So all of a sudden they're just parodying everything. And slowly but surely like, yeah, but that just means they just change one paragraph and I'm hosed. Like all of a sudden they could lock my account. They could yeah, turn off my bank account. Yeah. They don't even send it to you anymore. They send you yeah. a link to what they might have updated. And then you're supposed to figure out, oh, okay. I heard, I heard that. They had some business strategy and weren't making any money. So I guess this change of service is to further monetize my activities. Well, okay, great. So I think a lot. I think a lot of people are starting to uh, in as uh, as certain influencer influencing CEOs have said that we're in a age of uh, like uh, non privacy. Uh, I think that's in, I think that is uh, not the case, and and I think they're European. Uh, default judgments, uh, have, you know, tell a story. And, uh, yep. so everyone is, and I think that's the biggest problem is having the expectation that everyone's supposed to be a legal and security expert all the time in every, in every technology stack, they touch hundreds of them, maybe thousands, depending on if you count municipalities and governments and, uh, yeah, everyone's just supposed to know everything. And if they don't like, Oh, that's your fault. There's a, there has been a whole, a whole thing uh, over the last forever years about software liability, which will never happen. There will never be software liability. And it just, it's, and, and that is, you know, kind of goes in keeping with patents and everything where people aren't really innovating. They're just getting a portfolio of patents to defend and sue people. And it, none of this is to our advantage as a consumer, none of it. And so, uh, and if so, if you if you don't live in Europe and have you know a major law firm on on hand to sue everybody all the time, you should probably just have a very you should probably develop a more of a keen insight about what data you're sharing and uh, putting data you don't want to share in very intentionally in one place. Like say, pictures of your children. That's a good one. You should probably not put those on the internet for everyone to see. Yeah, like I've, exactly. I've had uh, discussions about this with people and they're like, really, why not? Like many reasons, many <laughs> reasons lots. why not. There's Maybe you don't want to have your child's biometrics blasted all over the internet That's for right. any future evil AI to see. And you know, there's, there's like a lot of, there's a lot of terrible scenarios that I could, I could theorize on, but uh, two words, deep fakes. 
that's where you're going to get into trouble. That's only getting started. If your data is out there, if your pictures are out there and AI is picking stuff up, right? There's a lot of like the, the AI that's coming out right now. And I'm sorry, these are just glorified if then statements right now. But anyway, this is not, this is (laughs) not artificial intelligence. This is not true. Like people are, man, talk about sucking off the AI teeth. This is so bad. Like you people are dumb. Like it isn't going to happen. And when it does, People don't watch enough sci-fi. This is the problem. You watch yes. iRobot. You'll learn. It's like, come on. You don't want this to happen. Anyway, just kidding. So I just go, like, vacuum. Your Roomba is coming for you, Steve. Yeah, you. Exactly. <laughs> don't worry. I'm supporting you 100%. I agree with you. Yeah, look behind you. Look behind you. This is horrible. If any of you have a Roomba, look behind you. Like, watch out. Oh, no. yeah. uh, so, it's, so when you think about, like, when people have a server, the most... The difficult thing, and I think a lot of people may have seen, even in their full lifetime, and I would suspect anyone that's watching this has seen more than their fair share of what a server is, right? Whether it used to be your old desktop that used to be under your desk 15 years ago, which was a brick thing, weighed a ton, and it, you just hear the noise all day long. That's the old school server. And then any of us that have worked in sort of main systems kind of things uh, out on the internet, they're usually, they are about, you know, three inches thick, probably about 19 inches deep, you know, they're, you know, pretty wide. They weigh quite a bit. They're probably about 20 ish pounds. If you've got a good one, all has drives in it until the drives became solid state, but that's a server. (laughs) We're taking a major quad processor type server and we're putting on your wrist in 58 millimeters tall and 40 millimeters wide. It's going to be a high power server sitting on your wrist with all of your storage, you could, you have three choices right now. So you'll have drive space to save everything from every device you've got. It's your iPad, it's your partner's iPad, it's da, 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 it's your phone, everything. it's your desktop. You just yeah. set it up and just go, I want access to it. I don't want to have to argue anymore with some stupid connection in my house because I can't get to the other thing because I didn't share it up on that cloud space. And now I'm on this other device, which doesn't have the app installed. So now I got to install that app so I can get to that cloud space that I can get to. We actually, have a question. Say again? We actually have a question. We actually have a question in, in our cool. comments. Well, uh, awesome. One of the questions cool. is, uh, I'm assuming this question is about the server first, and I'm sure this question is going to come up again about the actual project product. But the question is, what are some of the features? Now, let's just quickly tap on some of the features of a server and then kind of compare that to like what we know of a cloud. Kind of make yeah. that, that comparison. Oh, we're going we're gonna to deep dive into those functionality, developing it, yep. and get to the features. But uh, what Tra- uh, we- traditionally servers were for files. Uh, old school, you'd be storing files, which we're using that. We're, we're mimicking that model from a long time ago, which is really and truly the biggest complaint everyone has is all their stuff is up in the cloud. And that's very difficult if you have multiple devices, you buy a new device and now what do I do? And so you need a server for that if you want to get rid of all this other stuff going on there. So once you've got a server and you've got a cloud, the two argue because you really want it close to home to feel better, right? It's kind of like having your neighbor in your house and they're going to hold on to all your photos for you while you go on vacation. That's what you want. And so what we're going to do is we're going to implement a server exactly like that. It's going to have its own Wi-Fi, its own Bluetooth. So now what's easy for you is you can take your iPhone and pair with your server that's on your wrist. And so the nice part is now all of a sudden I can put all of my files, all my contacts, calendar items, text messages, everything, videos, audio, all of my sound files, all that stuff, my MP4s, MP3s, all that stuff can get stored over onto my Omini server and access it on any of my devices that I've paired with. So this stays paired. Now, the best thing about pairing is, is that that's your cloud. <laughs> you think about it, you now have a cloud. You just put a cloud, that cloud's on your wrist. You don't have to care anymore. And so the nice part about that is now all of a sudden, I want to listen to music, I can listen to music. I don't have to, and it doesn't matter what I have with me, whether I have my phone or I have Bluetooth headphones, or I've got, it's streaming directly to my devices for me. So now all of a sudden I'm like, wait, hold the phone, <laughs> literally hold the phone. Now you can <laughs> play everything because it's connected directly to it. And then my daughter could be on the other side of the house and she's streaming from the same music files because I've already paired with her. Her device is paired. I've given her that trust relationship. 
and my wife is in another room on her iMac or 27 inch Mac and she's streaming stuff on here. We're so you, sharing what, files. We got everything going. Go ahead. So what you were saying about the size on the functionality, but wanted just to, uh, just parentheses, I was, what you were doing, how much weight and big is a server physically? And for example, you were telling about the size of the product of the whole mini server, Ian, you know, you've been on servers, uh, just connecting with what uh, Steve was saying, but how much weight a server compares to this mini server? So it can be fun to know you what's the weight and then Steve will explain the size of the product. He's been saying it, but people understand, will be able to understand how powerful we went into a small size on it where it's uh, very, it's a server, but we shrank it. Uh, honey, I shrank the server. So I was, so uh, just to be that, and then we come back into uh, just a delirial, the other mm -hmm. side, because I found interesting what Steve, you were saying. Uh, therefore, then we can, I can put on the screen some, some screen, and then we can start to talk about the functionality, but you're absolutely right. Uh, the product is incredibly powerful and we will go on to the specification uh, and show really the power, but uh, you have a hell of a beast in, uh, in your hands. I wanted to quickly interject about uh, how uh, the kind of the alternative approach to this was that everyone would put everything on their phone and then that phone would be synced to a bunch of things and everything on your phone is pretty much fully monetized for advertising. So it's really not your phone. It's really a phone you bought from somebody and then they get to have all your data. This is the opposite. Your data layer is is in a easy portable device that you don't have to think about because it's on your wrist. You don't have to wonder where it is. You don't have to wonder if it's if it's been tampered with, which it's there's also going there's also going to be some deep tamper resistance and encryption embedded in the device. Mm -hmm. So that if you want to say mount a, a, a encrypted file system on your laptop or tablet or your phone, we you can still use your phone. We don't hate phones. But uh, yeah, just just keep in mind that uh, Instead of having to worry about, well, oh, where is this syncing? Do do I have a leaked password on that account that somebody can just go in and mass harvest everything? And especially with sensitive issues like finances and media and video and phones and like pictures, that I think is the, the biggest driver. And cryptocurrencies you will be able to put because it's really a server. So it's memory uh, under vit vitamins. Uh, it's a product under vitamins and all the stuff that we keep it for us. But it's uh, you're right, even for cryptocurrencies, NFT, any types of files you want to be totally secure, you put it inside. So um, actual server weights a ton. And usually yep. a, a standard rack server, a two or three U is what they call it. A two or three U server is probably about 20 pounds, maybe 30 pounds easily. And we're going to put that. all that. That's right. And we're going to put all that power in a 58 millimeter by 40 millimeter wristband. That's probably going to weigh, I don't know, ounces, which is not going to weigh very much. And, and, and <laughs> try to get that. You're going to have Wi-Fi and you're going to have MIMO Wi-Fi. So two by MIMO Wi-Fi capability. So you basically have an access point on your wrist for Wi-Fi. Can, so you can, can, can you explain that? Can you explain that? The MIMO yes. Wi-Fi? Yes. Yeah, so if you are normally in your house and you went out and bought yourself a router for Wi-Fi in your house so that you can, you know, watch your TV, you can have all your stuff connected, that is an access point. And that is a high speed. And they're usually going on multiple channels of Wi-Fi so that you can actually serve one or two five gigahertz channels, right? Well, <laughs> we're basically taking that big honking Wi-Fi router you have in your, in your office or wherever it is in your house. And it's, that big it's we shrunk it it's going inside your wrist so you will have a real server the actually i think we're that, we're ahead of uh we're ahead of product here these chipsets aren't even in access points yet so that's right so, so the what's the lab rate on this like how many hundred gigabit it's crazy it's uh if you've ever watched baseballs it's lud ludicrous speed uh so this will be moving at ludicrous speed and then the best part is we put right next to it not literally but as a feature wise it's going to have BLE5, which is Bluetooth Low Energy 5. So this is an eight-channel Bluetooth radio, meaning you have eight separate Bluetooth channels. So you can have multiple people 
paired. So you could have your headsets paired and you could have this paired. You could have a bunch of things paired doing stuff across Bluetooth and you won't feel it. You're not even going to feel it even. There's going to be no nudge. <laughs> it's not even a nudge. Uh, and then lastly, we're going to have NF NFC on board. And one of the reasons we want near field is because that's traditionally what most people use with any kind of, you know, when you're in the store and you're using a form of like digital payment, right? That's using an NFC. But that's not all we're going to be using for. I'm just saying, just saying, uh, you'll have all three of those capability in this device. Now, the one thing you cannot do with any of your devices, and this is the thing that I pushed for in the beginning. And when I was first talking to Guillaume about coming on board, I'd said, well, the only thing I want to make sure is that if I have a radio, I want that radio off. If I say it's off, it needs to be off. And what will happen is if you take your phone or your iPad and you tell it to turn off Wi-Fi, it actually electronically tells the radio to go quiet, meaning please don't transmit or receive, act like you're off. It's here we're going to see it. Here, here yeah, we'll be so able to see it right The nice after part that. Is, is that once it's done, it'll say the radio's not on. Well, guess what? The radio's still on. It can still be accessed externally. So for folks who want to hack your device, they can actually get through the radio and work their way back to your memory. Um, you have to be good at it, but it doesn't matter. It is quite possible. New, ours, when you push the button on the side, there's three buttons, one for each radio. Once you push the Wi-Fi button, it will literally disconnect positive and negative power and data lines and antenna. It's just gonna disconnect the whole thing. That radio is dead. You cannot access it. There's no way upstream. So you can't get to the device for all three radios. So basically you you've gone dark, you're off the grid Oof. and no one can see you or sense you. You're nowhere nearby. Like they have no idea. And you yeah, want to go here, dark in certain That's why here we there. have it, the still mode in red where you're gonna start to disconnect. That's what we were saying when you press it, the user interface, uh, this explain you a bit the user interface that we want to uh, make you discover. But when you press those Wi-Fi and FC, literally the whole system will turn red where you can still go on to the different functionality but it's explained you at total still, still mode you can put the nuclear codes inside of it you can put a billion cryptocurrency on it you can go anywhere in the world with it nobody will be able to touch it or to hack you so it's really uh you become on total still mode which is there is no product like this who can do what we are able to do today now the fact that the I, don't well, think I was going to say the that. fact that the radios are off Sorry. just means that it's totally dark. But then when you're on, we're uh, doing power limitation. So think at about, uh, for most people, it's three to five meters, which is anywhere from 10 to 15 feet, roughly. So you're not trying to transmit to your backyard. This thing isn't like, we don't want high power radios because you're right next to it. Now, granted, you could probably leave your iPad out in the kitchen and you could be in the back part of your house. Granted, stuff still connects. I mean, it's radio and radio waves are amazing little things. They can bounce off of walls and they can find their way all the way back to wherever the heck you're standing and go, hey, look, we're connected. Um, so it's a something called signal propagation. It's going to happen anyway. So we want to try to limit the power though, so that it's a little less hackable is the best way. So you're, you're still dark anyway, but, and you're not promoting. I think anybody who's ever gone in and turned on like a Wi-Fi device and they try to connect their TV over Wi-Fi so they can start watching things from their TV out in front of the house, you have to connect to your Wi-Fi network and that's broadcasting. That's called broadcasting. So that your Wi-Fi router is saying, hi, Steve's Wi-Fi, connect to me. So anybody driving down your streets going, hey, look, Steve's Wi-Fi, I have a Pringles can with some foil and I'm like hacking in on Steve's network because he has a really crappy password. <laughs> That's not what we're doing. <laughs> we're like, we're locking this thing down. No broadcasting. Nobody knows it's out there and it's encrypted anyway. The minute you've paired, this channel is literally encrypted. No one else is doing this when they tell you, oh, we have a safe HTTPS protocol. <clears throat> no, it's not. Um, it's not really safe. So <clears throat> inter the internet's a joke. So... <laughs> Have a nice day. This thing's going to be really locked down, and I will hand back to Ian because he was saying something right then. Yeah, I was just going to reiterate how uh, phones, when you turn them off, unless they're in airplane mode, which even then is questionable, they will periodically turn on, uh, ping everybody, see if there's any friends around, and if not, turn them back off again. And so 
anything that's listening will have the MAC address of each of your radios on your phone because that's what you're sharing with the universe. And mm -hmm. the, yeah, the O band will uh, actually have a hardware power disconnect for these chipsets. So they are, not only are they, not only, you know, is the software having them be off, but they're unpowered. So it's not, it's physically impossible for them to broadcast within that setting. And we will be able to, to yeah, what you were saying, to, to a bit describe the security in later podcasts. But um, yes, the security, we, we have designed a security system and something that is very particular. It's unique in what we do. We can say it here on live and so on. We'll be able to say, but um, actually our security, no one can do what we are doing because it's totally different. And we have made it in a way that you can put whatever you want inside of it. Uh, we can be able to pass information between two or mini server without nobody to be able to discuss or be able to take all the information, the bits, uh, files, the two or mini servers with two of them, you can be able to transmit totally secure and we will prove it. Um, but yeah, it's uh, we have uh, the possibility here with this type of product, uh, nobody will ever know about you. Even Double O, Fruity, uh, and some of them, uh, some of them who do some packaging stuff, um, who has three letters. Oh yeah, so those famous three letters. Just uh, stop. You can... fast, fast, <laughs> Just be uh, generic. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> what was it? Uh, oh yeah, those, no, those letters. No, it's ass-based products. <laughs> That's it's the way true. I always call it AAS. It's ass based products. It could be a pass. It could be a ZAS. It could be a SAS. It could be a TAS. It could be an iPass. Give me a break. I'm done. You know, that's not secure. And we're implementing something that is around you and your private, you know, information, right? This is to give you back your data privacy. But the funny part is there are a lot of side effects of having data privacy and in, in a, in a local storage for yourself is that that's security. So you get it for free and you don't have to figure it out. Right, because we, we're gonna load this bad boy up. When I was when when Ian was talking about like the maker of tricks, um, we're basically we've been talking about stuff like we we're gonna have hardware and software tripwires in the device. So if anybody remembers the show Get Smart or maybe Mission Impossible from TV back in the seventies, you know if you know willing to accept it, and then the little tape recorder would like fry right in front of him right after he got his mission. Less smoke mission and statement. fire, but yes. Yeah, we won't have any smoke and fire. But what we are gonna have is a full factory reset. And I don't mean our factory reset, the chip factory reset. It's going to zero, like no data anywhere. We're doing a hard wipe of the device. So if somebody finds a way to hack into your unit, somebody cracks the case open. There's something called hot needle where you can go through a screen. If somebody tries to go through to try to access, boom, you know, it's a brick and we have screens for it. I actually thought like, you know, there's an old song, Jethro Tull, you know, thick as a brick. I actually wanted these screens to go, oh, looks like you're going to be, you're a brick. And then the device goes off. It's done. Toast. It's out. I mean, you, you won't be able to use it. It's done. Everything's gone. So if you had company files on there, you know you're at somewhere, someone stole your device and they tried it, poof, it's toast. Gone. Like, so you don't have to worry about, you know, the... Layout plans for the latest HH60 for the President's Marine One because you were dumb enough to leave your laptop in the restaurant where that moron was. And then all of a sudden, somebody's got the damn uh, blueprints for the whole freaking helicopter. You're like, what are you kidding? No, that stuff's got to go. Got to go, got to go. It should just get fried. And that's actually where we're going is people should feel safe that it's my kids' photos with the EXIF data on it. It's my work files that I'm taking with me to work. Or maybe I'm a road warrior and I travel you know, for my company and I, I go, you know, coast to coast or I go, you know, somewhere in the Midwest. And I, I, when I get to the office, I now am shared with something that I've already trusted, that network there, the device that I've got, my work computer. I'm sharing my file with my boss. I'm sending it in an email. Most people, when they send stuff privately, they're using email pretty much. You know, they're going to use a messaging platform to do that. But that's your choice. You can still do it. We're not stopping that. We, we want you to do that when you want to do that, not when you never knew it was happening. That's the problem. You don't know how much your stuff's getting poked into and how much you're being sold, which to go back to Ian's point, you're being monetized like you would not believe. And it's crazy. So that's that's what you were explaining 
uh, here we enter as we you go along we enter in into the functionality of the device but yeah here the, the first one which is device uh, which we were talking before here you can see a bit how you connect all your devices together you can really connect I don't know how many but a lot <laughs> devices to it a lot so you can that what we were talking you can be able to listen to music in high definition directly into your mini server at the same time working on your computer and you can be able to watch your photo on a tablet and maybe you're doing your work directly with another computer and you can do that only with your mini server up to a plane in the submarine in a bunker or you can even be in 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 the luna park or stuff like this so this this gives you really the what you were explaining really the sense of the connection and then you have multiple way where you can get all those data out which is really important as you were saying we can be able to synchronize it or we can even email we will be able with an application on your phone to take all your information on your phone you disconnect the cloud and you have all your emails your contact your text messages your files that you were saying all your most sensitive information will not be able will be able to take out from all your devices uh which will be which you have two functionality that you can straight up to to be able to get access to it so i i share it at the same time on the screen therefore we can talk about it but it shows you really the way that uh from that you can be able to really sync or back up so you can take off for your contact out of your phone and synchronize something directly in your phone or with your computer or something like that which is pretty cool so you can get your emails now We're total control yeah and total control when you're uh switching all of this over saying i want my emails and 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 things to actually be under total control this is completely transferring the file to the o mini server if there are no vestiges of this thing anywhere else we've completely moved the file you can't find it on your phone you can't find it so if let's say you were transferring from your iphone in this case uh and you moved all of your calendar items or text messages over your device your phone will still be able to find those but if you actually had a way to crack into your iPhone, you knew how to do it, and you actually went in and cracked into it and started to say, oh, well, where are those files? Where did my text messages go? You're not going to find them on your phone physically. They're on your server. It's on that It's on that file server. So everything got moved over there for you. And that way now, if somebody stole your phone, you're like, have a nice day. It's got nothing on it. It doesn't. <laughs> it has a connection to your device, but you're not going to let it reconnect anymore. So you say, hasta lasagna. We're good. Like it's, it, your files are safe because they weren't there. Now you also have the option, which we've he showed before, which is synchronization, which means now I want a copy on my phone and I want the copy on my server at the same time, on my own mini server, which is fine. A lot of people like to do that. They don't want to fully transfer something. But the only difference is that if your phone gets stolen or you forget your iPad in a restaurant, those copies are still sitting there. So you got to wonder Man, about How that. many times have we heard that? How many times has someone left there like, development device someplace oh and, yeah oh it's oh. gone now and everything on it has been leaked to the press and yep like that happens what every few months kind of oh yeah, yeah and even almost. on tv it happens <laughs> but guess what that's and that's when you were dumb enough to leave the device in the restaurant what if it's that company that's just sitting there peering into your device while you're transferring files around and you've accepted that as being okay I personally don't accept it. But my point is, is that that's when you've accepted that it's okay. And that that's not what we want anymore. We really don't want anybody to have to accept this anymore. You should be able to say, I want to choose what I want to do with my stuff. And I want it yeah. for me. And I want to be able to share it when I want. Totally. Yeah, yeah. And if you could, if, if, if you have enough devices in your house that you think you can slow this thing down, have a nice day. I, I challenge you. It's not going to happen. Not in your house. It's not going to happen. I'm a nerd. I've got multiple Raspberry Pis in my house. I have a lot of stuff I could connect to this thing. This is still going to be smoking J Cruz fast. This thing is going to be totally fast. Like we're not going to have a problem. You're not going to notice any sort of a, yeah, you're not going to notice it. It's just going to be humming right along. Uh, now get into a work environment. It is a server. It is a Wi-Fi server. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so if you're in a meeting with 30 people, you're still not going to feel it. It's going to be sharing <laughs> with 30 other devices. So, And the good thing is that you can take off 
when you take off all your data from your phone, you can disconnect the cloud. So you don't need anymore to give your emails, to give your personal information, to give your phone, to have recurring revenue saying, hey, your cloud is full, please send me uh, 50 bucks and we open you. And at the same time, we sell your data. No, here you can buy a phone, make it work with it, um, have all your contacts straight directly. And what we do is that inside the application, you will have all your data onto it. So all the where we're going to go, it's all your emails, your text messages, and all your files that you'll be able to see will be automatically in your wrist. That's what we were talking about it. But from that, you don't have nothing on your phone. You don't have any more to be uh, blocked by the, by the cloud. And then you can operate undercover with any problem. And now what you're seeing email. here, though, one key is that these are the screens that are on the Omini server itself. So you can still read your email. You can still read your text messages. We're going to allow you to see your files and everything else and sort. And you're going to see it. But if anybody's got a mo I, I have a watch, right? And so I wear, and I'm going to say it because I own it. I wear a Polar. I love my Polar. My Polar watch is great. But I don't read stuff on that. It, that's ridiculous. Like I used to work at Palm a long time ago. I really did not like reading really big things on my on a PDA on my personal data system. Right? I didn't. It's just too small. Like I, I'm wearing glasses now. Thank you very much. Jeez, I'm blind from reading this crap. It's so small size. So the nice part is, is no, no, no. I still get to see everything on my laptop or my iPad in full size. But if you were just sitting there and you had the radios off and you just wanted to check, what about this? What about that? It's still on your wrist. Like you can still look at things. So we're going to allow you that opportunity. We're just not telling you this is the only way you get to see your stuff is you got to go read your emails on your wrist. But no, 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 no. It's, it's a server. So it's serving to the, to the device of your choice. It just so happens that if you were looking, maybe you were doing something and you just, you know, I wonder where I have that file. And you just look down and you just switch, switch. Oh, there. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I do have it. And you just move on. So you don't have to worry about it. So you didn't have to, while you're on your iPad, switch your app to go look at a, because do you have a file browser on your iPad? I wonder. No. Do you? <laughs> Oops. Where do you, go to, where do you go to browse your files on your mobile devices? Riddle me that, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> and we can can you now? Text. Yes. You it's can. usually in another app that spies <laughs> on you as well. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's and you're accessing all the other data buckets that also have different <laughs> spies in it. So yeah, and you're paying fifteen bucks a month for that app, or two dollars, or whatever. It doesn't matter, right? But you're still paying for that. Oh, that's oh. right. Adds up. Yep. Well, yeah, and that's the nice part, right? You shouldn't have to if you wanted to just go to a file browser and go look. Let us go. We'll just show it to you. Oh, yep, swipe, swipe, swipe. Oh, there's the files. It's in that folder. I know where it is. But you know what? Why shouldn't you be able to view that on a larger screen or a larger format? So why wouldn't we give you an app that's a file browser that allows you to go look at your files on your iPad? Gee, and who is it that gave you that really nice app? The same folks that have everything encrypted on the damn so many servers. So you're in this tight knit <laughs> encryption model where you're able to view. So you're getting the app. You don't have to go get one. You're getting the browser app. You're getting a calendar app. You're getting, you're getting everything you can see on your own mini server. You have the exact same apps on your iPhone, on your iPad, on your desktop, on a laptop, on a blah, 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 blah. Just pick it. You know, if, you, if you've got that app installed, you got access to all of it. And now you can still use it. And you can go into the text messaging app on, on your device, on your phone, and say, send a message, read a message. It's still accessing the same file set. So it's poof. Now, talk about convenience. Like, and... It's all encrypted. It's not fake encrypted like they're telling you they've got. No, 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 it's really encrypted. And you don't have to care. You just know that your favorite neighbor, your four neighbors on the screen right now, are all protecting this stuff for you and letting you have the ease of use no matter where you are. And I've used this one before. If you want to watch Happy Gilmore on the side of Half Dome, you can. Because <laughs> you don't need a connection. To anything. Yeah, you don't have four, except to you your have own four bars of 5G, you might have a trouble. Yeah. Yeah. And this, is, exactly. <laughs> and this is why you can get all your image. Like uh, you can put uh, even all your video. You can play a movie uh, straight directly um, in the mountain uh, with your little phone and you don't have a connection and you have all your listed movie right onto it. Yeah. So you can even have, you have all your files in it. You can put, it's really a mini, let's say, 
we added there is two memories inside, which is it is really incredible in a very small oh. size. So you have and then if that if that Chinese spy complete. balloon is over your head, you know when that yeah. Chinese spy balloon flies over your head and you turn <laughs> off the radios, they're not going to know where you are. <laughs> no, because <laughs> your radios are cold off. Dead. Off, they have no idea where you are. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that whole spy balloon stuff has been kind of the funniest thing I've seen in the news. It really, it would have been great. They put uh, something uh, like a, a little yeah. picture in a balloon, you know, Clooney uh, yes. smiling or something like this. Yeah. It would have been more fun than a white one. <laughs> Hi. It's just yeah. waving at you from above. And, uh, and here it's, uh, and uh, what's great about it is that we're going to remake live again the mp3 because the cloud is the same the streaming revenue music uh it's the same aspect why we are here you have all these that loves the ipod <laughs> the cds the big one very nice sound of it so you'll be able to put all your mp3 music straight directly into it and listen in high definition straight directly with two bluetooth uh headset Automatically, so that's it. it shows you how here a bit about it. But you have Steve who loves music. Here you have one, two people, three that loves music, and you have a singer. Uh, I think so, Matt. You are a singer. I am, and I also love music. So yes, you're correct. Okay, so for the music. <laughs> so 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 I see that you can put MP3s on it. But I know you're mentioning um, um, about like if you have other apps, your apps are also on there. So let's say you have a music app outside of this. So here you don't use apps. So one thing in the, the description, uh, it's not an application that is inside. You can insert program. Yes. Uh, but you can't use them inside. So if you want, for example, to have a program that you want carry it, you can put an ISO, for example, inside of it. Um, and have it with your computers uh, synchronize it. So now you send the ISO directly inside the, the computer and then you can run the application. So it's still a hard drive, but you can't install application inside. We do it because we, we want to be able to secure the product, which is mainly our goal here um, around. We can't open everything. That means that if you want to be able to open your room uh, or you want to be able to go into your garage and say, oh, I want to open my garage, pressing it. No, it won't be able to work. You want to do a coffee machine or it does a, a refreshing the pizza. Toaster. A toaster, <laughs> no, it doesn't do it. We're not talking to your your refrigerator. <laughs> no. <laughs> you it's like, that's the point. The point is for it not to be talking to all these things, except that one specific thing you want it to. Like, now, if you are crazy enough to pair with your refrigerator, we're not stopping. <laughs> if you want to pair, okay. But off, where, do you get refrigerator? where do you get that refrigerator? That's my question. That's what I want. <laughs> the store. Right? <laughs> yeah, well, so, in this uh -oh. case, that's GE or South Korean. Samsung, and, yeah. Uh, right. South Korean. Just, to, yeah. just to make everyone super paranoid, the South Koreans <laughs> have a history of being uh, infiltrated and malwared by the Chinese. So, fair enough. <laughs> Oh, that's yeah. nice. There yeah, isn't it? <laughs> You're we not safe have, anywhere. So we have, <laughs> oh, yeah. We have one question. Yes. Uh, we have a question. See if we can show it. There we go. Okay. Does this have the vibration feature for connectivity to other devices or alarm? Uh, yes. Uh, alarm not. Um, vibration mode? Uh, nope. We have to, yeah, put, then not sure. is there a vibe in the device? I, is it, it vibrate at all? But is it for mm -hmm. what vibration? That's the question. It so, sounds like yeah, they just that, want to vibe on connect. So they want to they want awareness of when things are connecting to their band, which right. seems right. seems like an interesting request. Well, yeah, I no, guess I figure out a way to do that. I guess from like that mm -hmm. particular question in my mind, it's kind of like asking, all right, so if you get a phone call, what will it let you know? Or if you have an alarm set, what will it let you know? Or like, if you get a text message coming in, obviously you can't respond, but will it say, hey, you have a message because it just got sent to me. You know what I mean? So, okay. So that's you be able to have it through your application because every time you'll be able to uh, pair your phone, we will be able, uh, and you will be able, uh, here we can, you, we can show it a bit more, 
But uh, every time you're going to pair something into it and you're going to ask, we have designed three administration level, like the servers that was done. So it depends on what size you're going to use. Okay. The, or the all mini server will connect directly and we create our security around it. So if you have your phone as administrator or your computer or anything, you have a notification into your phone and your wristband and uh, the mini server that you have something. Now, if you have a phone, it will go into your phone, not in the server. Now you have a, a new email or a new text. Yes, you will have a notification that say, oh, you have a new text, but it will be in your wrist and in your phone. Really, the mini server, it's a mini server in your wrist. So it doesn't, you have to see it more like a, like your, your personal cloud disconnected from everything, if I may say it really uh, mm -hmm. bad word, let's say, uh, oh, the cloud. Um, but it's really a server where the power of it is really inside of it. You won't be able to add a lot. We had a, a question with, can we do APK? Uh, we will be able to develop applications through it. We won't be able to do, but we have so many stuff in the head. Uh, here you have four people, which is already a lot of a lot of brain inside of it. And we have a lot of functionality that as we develop the product, we get it into the hands of consumers and we build uh, the technology around it and the functionality. There is tons of things that you don't imagine how powerful this could be able to be in the next year as we grow on functionality. So now we center most on that, but we have a lot to attack. Uh, and uh, Steve, um, Ian, and uh, and Matt Sitson, uh know that uh, it's gonna pretty, it's gonna be pretty amazing what we're gonna create. Really, uh, it all this is just a start. Yeah, this is just a start. Nothing. And that's yeah, this is a server. Excited. And then that's something that really gets me excited. Like I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it because it's like seeing what this initial product is going to be, and mm -hmm. then knowing, you know, knowing that the next thing is whenever the next thing comes up, it's going to be even better. And just knowing that we're just going to keep improving and improving. And it's just like for me, I'm just like, this is this is super exciting. This is like well, it's not I'm the only it. kind of device. It's not the only kind of device that you might want either. When you think about yeah. it, everybody else. So one of the things that it's interesting, I've been in so many product companies, is that oftentimes people in product development organizations are always like, We're going after so and so. You know, we want to supplant or replace and then name something, right? And it's always a jump in the box and kick your competitor out of the box. Our product is not that way. We're not saying we're trying to replace your fitness band or because there are no sensors in this thing. We're not we're not making another no fitness GPS. band. Not, no, there's none Nothing. of that stuff in there. This thing is the three radios I mentioned are the only radios in this thing. There are no other sensors. There's nothing else in there. This is a server. And later, when we want to make something else, some really cool products, what those products will be are an extension of that server not to replace so we're not telling you you can't go out and get your favorite phone from your favorite service provider go get it uh, we're not no we're not but what we're telling you is, is you have a file server now that you can put all your files on and you can trust where those files are going and you know you're not being monetized so you're safe with that you don't respect, need not, you yeah, don't need any so you won't to need it so yeah, you don't right. need to double authentication give your phone number yeah. sorry uh, but really no, like, you're right. Yeah, it gets rid yeah, of OAuth. The, I mean, everybody double, that's used OAuth with two-factor. Two like, oh. oh. And the questions and the different questions that you have to know. Uh, what is your favorite car? What is your name of your first mother? And what blah, blah, street blah. did you and grow up you on? Give your credit card and so yeah. on. And here you don't. You buy your phone. You have all your contact. You download the application. You remake the, the security system that we've created. And you go on. Nothing more. You lose your phone. You break it. We don't care. Yeah. You have everything in store. And this <laughs> Your product files are still to, there. <laughs> and just to make what Steve was explaining, here you have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, I will repeat it, two memories and the processor. That's it. Nothing more. There is nothing other things inside of it. And oh, each device, and it's, it's 256 gigabytes of storage. That's on my next question. One, right? <laughs> and it's 512, 512 gig for the mid and a terabyte of storage for the high-end device. You can buy them right now. I mean, we're, we've are we got 
our website's got everything open. The ominiserver.com already has it there. So you can get in. Now, these are limited editions. The one we're doing right now are laser engraved. They're going to be very specific and special for everyone that's coming in now because we know there are a lot of people that are like, I just want it anyway. Like, and it's not like you're going to have to wait a long time to get it because we're talking Q3 for the delivery. But the point is, is that we want everyone to start going, wow, so you're kidding, right? Like a, a terabyte of storage on my wrist? Seriously? It's like, yep. Yup. And if you have more than that, you're a serious file hoarder. <laughs> you got a lot of files. <laughs> you have a, and I'm a nerd and I got a lot of stuff. And I'm like, yikes. So uh, if, you, if you're storing a lot of stuff, that's- At least some stuff, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, uh, and it's chargeable. You're getting, we're giving you an extra so, band on purpose. And so we have to explain. So you're going to get everything. Steve, yeah. we didn't explain it, but for- all the attendees and people who knows this is very particular product because the battery is on the wrist. Mm. So it's a swappable battery. You see it at the back of Steve, Mattinson and Ian. You just have to disconnect the band. You can change the band with different color. We will show it in our next podcast where it's the branding and the marketing. And then uh, you just have to change the band. You will have different colors where you can customize it. So even if the product doesn't have any more battery, don't care. You change and you'll have another one back on. And tomorrow, if you the, the battery will go down, we will be able to do a lot of things. We can't say it too much, but you can be able to replace the battery and we will recycle it and to keep it because batteries, lithium batteries are highly, 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 uh, how do you say it, uh, toxic. Uh, in here, we use zinc battery. So we use a very specific way and we would build uh, new things, but it was to give a bit uh, about it. The right. battery is on the wrist. That's why you can disconnect it. And, and uh, we want to go, we're trying to go with the product line and all of our product pieces are actually more or gravitating towards much more green anyway. Um, and it's funny because the other question that was asked was it's when you're talking about storing all your files, if you're a musician, or you're a photographer, or you're someone who has a lot of files, yeah, your entire catalog is there. One of the things that Madison was talking about with Gilman and I once was, <laughs> so once in a while I like to DJ. I can just show up and start spinning, like, yep, you just start <laughs> just pumping music. I'm going, I just took over, and I'm I'm playing what I want to play, so everybody else got to listen. <laughs> so you basically <laughs> just take over, and now you could be, you you are, the person you could be showing pictures with friends or it's a whole party so yeah and that you, capability you consider, is, is incredible the, the, the idea that you could be on a trip taking pictures videos you could be like, like you just said that could be doing music or djing you know whatever else within that entertainment field and everything that i need is right there in my wrist mm -hmm. and i can just send it to that computer there i can send it to here everything's all linked up and we're all systems to go and people are like, so what did you show up with? I'm like, I showed up with my microphone and my home on my mini server. And they're just like, yep. what? It's it's it, it's the capabilities of uh, you just got out of the pool and you see it, it um, <laughs> you walk up and now you're playing everything. Exactly. Yes, you're just standing yes, there in exactly. a pair of shorts and a t-shirt. And, and, and you yeah, see and it, Matt, Matt Tinson, because when you are with your uh, phone and you are making a broadcast or something like this. You always have your SD card on it, and you have to get in out. You have your little photo. You have to go and see inside your screen. So annoying. You, know, you just <laughs> shoot. Da -da -da, you have your camera, your photos, uh, everything ready, and you have your computer or your tablet next to it. You can shoot everything. Have, it goes directly in the wrist, and then pop up, and you get out. You don't need anymore to plug hard drives. You don't need anymore to have the problem with, it's a Mac, it's a Windows, and now I have different format size of, no. You just connect them and everything is centralized in this mini server. And then you have access with all your devices up together. So that's what why you, we were talking about it, which is, which you were like. Yeah, we say, yeah, honey, cool honey, I shrunk, honey, honey, I shrunk the server. And then the worst one you never want to hear is you're in that hotel room and you go, honey, I forgot the cable. <laughs> and then what do you do? It's like, then what do you do? And she's looking at you like, seriously, you forgot the one cable we need to connect that to that to get this really yeah. and you're not in a kit bag digging around for that cable you got to sink your 
whatever to your whatever, right? You're trying to move files over to your laptop or whatever. You've got to have that stupid cable again. You're like, oh man, because I don't remember and the Bluetooth doesn't work because it's really slow and I don't want to transfer files because <laughs> you have an eight channel Wi-Fi on your mm -hmm. Omini server. So you're just flying as fast as the bits can drop onto your laptop. They're dropping on your laptop. Oh, and um, cool. there is a uh, Jen we ask, so a music artist stores. That's what I just answered. Music. Oh, you okay, didn't so see, I posted it up. That was the one where he is. Okay. That's how we got into being a DJ or even a photographer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've, we've talked to other folks about who are photographers and wish they had their full photo set when they wanted to, and it makes it easier oh. for them. Yeah, yeah. And you can even edit your music like uh, for as we were saying for artists. Um, if you can even use software music at the same time, you can have everything here you can have, and you can with the software inside your computer you do all the modification. You don't need to plug it in. So that's that's really, I think, uh, and uh, we will be able to show tons of other things uh, mm -hmm. um, later on. Yeah. Ian is more on the security side. He uh, he's, he's like more underground. <laughs> underground stuff that it's always good that we never know what's happening. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know. We have over time of right. six minutes. We can have another four minutes, and then we can close it out. But it's uh, and security it's is really important to us. And when we say security, we're talking about the security of the product. Uh, we're not kidding around here. The folks that are actually going to be watching, <laughs> we have Overwatch. <laughs> so Ian's part of Overwatch. Uh, Aaron, who you folks will meet someday, is also part of Overwatch all of our heads so dan and mike and i are all on overwatch and what that means is basically when we go through and we're writing software we're checking everything we're looking for everything um, we're attempting not to use any libraries because we want to make sure that that stuff's clean we're not going to put anything on there that's got a back door and we're not putting in a back door <laughs> we literally are going to give you this device going hope you don't break it because we can't we, <laughs> we're not getting into it either <laughs> like like you there will be no o company uh what's the word geniuses wandering around in a store you know where they're like oh hey give me this thing and i'll go fix it for you and then they go walk away and you're like what are they doing back there with that device like they just took my phone or they just took my tablet or they just took my laptop i'm like somebody peering or maybe i should have moved all those files off before i gave them yeah. 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 anyway you know what i mean it's kind of like whoops you know your kids pictures are on there it, the only thing we're going to be able to do is replace a cracked screen if you try to go anything beyond that we're not it's we don't want to get in there. It's your stuff. We, we really don't want to, we don't want anyone else to know what's in there. It's yours. And you we don't have to protect. overly protect anything. Yeah. We just yes. want to make sure that you know that we are thinking about this all day long. It's how do we make this safe? Where do we set up tripwires to prevent people from getting into your stuff? How do we make sure nothing nefarious is going on on your device and no one else is trying to, we used to use the phrase Bogart, but no one else is trying to get in on your stuff. We don't want that to happen. We want you to feel safe that when you're doing stuff, that's that should be the highest level of comfort and you shouldn't even have to think about it. And you shouldn't and, have to go, uh-oh, I just heard about such interest just went wrong. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, I wonder if that affected all of my photos that are up on the cloud. I don't want you to worry we, about it. We really want to, to build, a, yeah, you're right. We really want to build a, a secure product. That's, we want to remake product again. Oh, that sounds, uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> we really want to make it again. And we're going to do it here in the US, yep. which is the most powerful of everything. We're going to build this product here in the US, manufacture and assemble in the United States. And yes, it's possible to create uh, IT wearable technology, totally secure with most secure that any device can have in the world will be the most powerful product beautifully designed, most secure uh, product, not only at the software standpoint, hardware standpoint, uh, radio frequency standpoint. Really, this product will be a piece of jewelry in your hand and you can do nearly everything or well, nearly everything. No. What are we going to specify to do? But yes, your all your files uh, will be right next to your wrist. And we have tons of other applications. Uh, and stuff that we are. Um, Ian, we're and the whole fun. idea is 
we talked about the parts, right? We told you it's a multiprocessor, you know, it's a quad processor, which is really high power. The radios are really fast. But the funny part is, is that we were probably the most annoying people with our partners because we're like, well, it has to be this and it needs to be created in the US. <laughs> and we want to make sure that none of this stuff's been floating around in some other godforsaken back. We can't say nothing thing or whatever. <laughs> no, you don't want to do it the way other people are. <laughs> Yeah, we don't want we we didn't go out to that guy's Impala where he popped the trunk and sold us a bunch of chips. No, that's not no. what we're doing. We have partners that are like high end, very important people that understand what we want to make and they want to make what we're making. That's why they're with us. And we have some great people that really, really understand that we're trying to do something that's a server that serves you and is convenient and is really secure so that you know your stuff is safe. You should feel safe once you buy it. And all of our partners are of the same ilk. They they want it to be the safest thing ever, which is good. And we, yeah, and we believe that it's possible to do something here from the yep. ground. Here in and the States. We and we will do it. And we have designed eight products. So this is one of them <laughs> that will come. And we have two versions for each one and one's very specified. Don't eight's the short list. Wait, hold on. Oh, eight's yeah. the short list. Eight's the short list. Eight's not the whole <laughs> list. Eight's just the short list. It's a uh, short list. <laughs> yeah. With you two, I am not surprised. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's a very, Zoolander? we have a lot of things. We don't ever forget the government is not the problem. It's right. the one who are listed in the Fortune 500. Those are the people <laughs> that uh, will rob your privacy to make Money, yeah. money, 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 money. Yeah. And get a good injury. Show me the money. That's exactly so, what's going on with your oh, life all yes. day long, man. That's what's count going on money. with all of our lives all day long. Oh, yes. oh count so, the money. Demo May. Nobody that knows that movie. You're going to go look that movie up. But uh, oh, yeah. History, yes. of, the history, history of the World Part 1 from Mel Brooks. Magnificent. Really a great. Uh, okay, we've great digressed. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're getting into movies, we know we're at the end. <laughs> so, the, <laughs> Ian, so Mattinson and Ian, do you have anything any more to say? Okay, this is great. <laughs> uh, that's the hour to go and eat. Okay, I understand yeah. it. <laughs> oh, take the. Oh, we can't say we can't say alcohol is true. Uh, what the, the dogs need to be fed? Yes, they do. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure Ian's has been bugging him for a little bit, and mine are an hour behind. But they're going to be coming after me pretty soon here. <laughs> it's funny the uh, the uh, you can't see him because he's a black dog, and so he's just this this blob of the background when he's he's, he's right here trying to <laughs> asking for attention. It's Background's funny. alive yeah. right now as well. Yeah. <laughs> so if you the background starting to eat me, that's because yeah. I waited too long to entertain him. But we're going to have more of these live. Uh, so we're going to bring on different parts of the company and let everybody know that, yep, we're all. So just everyone knows everyone else is as crazy as the four of us are. So that's sort of the way this company's set up. Um, we all love to do this. We want to make this. Um, a lot of us are very much into products that look nice, feel nice. They're really, as Guillaume always says, they're chic. That's what you really want. I don't want it to look like a piece of junk. I want it to look really nice. I want it to look pretty. I want to, if, if I'm doing this, if I'm making this, I want it to be right. So the inside has got to be just as good as the outside. And so we're making a really high end inside. So I can tell you for a fact, we're making a really high end outside. The casement's going to be pretty. The glass is going to be pretty. The screen's going to be pretty. All sapphire, the stuff that glass, you get. Yep. Sapphire cake, glass. Yeah. Things going to be. <laughs> if you thought. And I know my polar is built that way, right? It's supposed to, because it is also sapphire glass. And you know, you can whack it. Like I've done it before fixing my dishwasher yesterday. It's like, oh, shoot. I'm like, oh, no, well, it's good. Still good. No chips, no scratches, no breaks. Um, that's what I want. And I want it to look really pretty, like the orange sickle. Uh, if anybody's been to the website, you've seen the different colors of the bands and everything else. So that's really where we're going. We want it to be a really pretty product. It should look nice and it should Here's work. Out. The Smoking website's past. there. There, yeah. <laughs> they're, right. they're in the corner. <laughs> the website's here somewhere. It's it's on the thing. You can see it. I'm in the server. Uh, yeah. I can't but wait. yeah. So, yeah, and uh, you can be this product. Uh, your arms will go down before this product goes down. 
Oh degree, yeah, yeah. Temperature, minus right? Three degrees and plus. Oh yeah, yeah. And plus yeah. maybe the, eighty degrees. The Omini yeah. server will survive the temperature change more than you will as a human. <laughs> so <laughs> the device will still be alive, just so you know. We're at fifteen seconds because we'll be at one minute and fifteen minutes. One hour and fifteen, one minute, 15 minutes, seconds. Fifteen seconds. Oof. We've yeah. Got we'll ten seconds extended. to go. See it. Yep. So we're gonna go an hour and fifteen. And anybody, <laughs> yeah, we will do it an hour and a half. So that last next time, at least, uh, it will be done. But we extended fifteen minutes for our first uh, time. So yep. we we really amateur. The one who's more less amateur is Matinson. Really, uh, more than more than everyone. So he's much more that. Um, whoa. Right. Yeah, we're immature. Yeah, we're immature. He's like he's sort of like the leveling factor. And then Ian just goes, I'm disconnecting. You guys are going in. <laughs> <laughs> like, we don't have to play a part. You, we don't have a part to play. Okay. It makes sense. Right. We have a part to play. It's fine. <laughs> Everyone, every every goofball needs a leveler, right? You need somebody to level them out. So, but right. uh, yeah, no, this is going to be fun. So we just want to make so, sure everybody stays up on us. We're on LinkedIn. We're going to be posting stuff everywhere. Um, we're trying to get everybody on Twitter as well as Instagram and trying to get everyone out there so they can see what's going on and keep up to date with us as we start building and releasing and having more of these sessions where everybody can learn more about the company and what we're up to. Tell your friends. Yep. And exactly. for everyone to know, we will, uh, as much as we go on, we will um, have uh, one podcast per week. Um, next, next podcast is with branding. Uh, we want you to know who's the, the person at the back of the branding, who is the person that um, really create what we do because making a product is good. Be able to create technology and vision is great, but what is most for us important is the branding. And we absolutely want people to discover and the next session will be security around the product. So we will go and deep dive more into it for you to know we had preparing a uh, PowerPoint. They didn't work with the technology that we use. So we finalized use the video. Uh, thanks to our UE UX. We love you. Uh, mwah, to, to this person uh, that creates, um, just for each one to know, we're here to make a one purpose, make your data totally protected. And we're gonna do it. We have the technology. You have incredible people around, around it. We wanna do it. It's a really pure, uh, we have no current revenue. It's a really pure messaging that we want. It's uh, a product that we, our most important thing, as Steve says, it's your privacy. Why can't we have our privacy in the digital life? That's the whole question we need to ask us all together because there is not. The only privacy that you have is when the phone uh, has flied more than 100 meters, I mean, or in feet, 300 feet from you, uh, and there is no device around you. That's the greatest product. We're going to close. Uh, yeah. Ian, you have a last word. And Matt, you have a last word. If you don't, oh, uh, yes, no. Oh, no, you yeah. mentioned you mentioned yeah. fees. And we've had someone ask us once before, uh, when I when I buy the product, uh, what am I paying for service fees? What am I, <laughs> nothing. You buy the product, that's it. We charge you once. We're not. We're not all the coming back to you. Subscription model now. Yeah, please forget that. That's why. That's why I called it. So if you see anyone that does all of these really neat products and it's S and two little A's and an S, right? It's SaaS. Right. Is, so <laughs> I just say we are not an ass based product. We sell you the product. <laughs> we're selling it straight up. We just you, you buy the product. You shouldn't have to come back and pay us for anything. You should be able to keep this product and keep it running. And it just needs to have the battery plugged in and you're good to go. So you have me really holding back want. the jokes so much right now. <laughs> I know. I'm so it's like I'm resisting, resist temptation. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, yeah. we don't want you to feel that way. We, we want you to buy it once and you shouldn't have to worry. Right. Nothing more. For all the attendance, the most complicated part for us has been not to name people. That's been the most complicated part of the whole podcast, which is an incredible exercise not to name who the people, but everybody knows who are the people. Oof, it's complicated. Next time we have to name, wow, we have double O, fruity, but we, 
we can find some fun things out. I think everybody knows. <laughs> I need the yeah, fill lights really up. <laughs> As the sun set, I became Diglo in the in the room here. <laughs> that. Hey, Ian, watch out. Tell me if you have someone from because you're right next to them, so they might be there. You might have someone who pops up in your screen uh, <laughs> or next to you with the doctor listening to your to your house. So, mm -hmm. yeah, the Steven, you are the most closer. We are on the East Coast. So, uh, all, right. all right, one hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> Lock and throw away the key. We're all done. Have a great night. <laughs> Good evening to all. Bon appetit. Uh, enjoy your, Choose. your dinner. Choose and see Choose you prost for the next time. Yes. Thank you. Exactly. What? Do you, what? what is prost. Salut. 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 French. Prost. Lachaim. Lachaim. Uh, and, yeah. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> but tomorrow we'll have some people uh, in, in the team that will say, what? <laughs> Nothing more. All the languages that need to come back before? No, no way. <laughs> no. Well, uh, adios. Yeah. Uh, in Spanish, yes. Adios. adios. We, have, we have the Spanish. We need the Italian next time. Um, Hasta lasagna. Hasta lasagna. Okay. Like space ball. Via con carne? You can use via con carne. <laughs> okay, we're ending broadcast. <laughs> oh, yes, we're live. Damn. Madison yeah. killed the broadcast. <laughs> you pull the plug, man. So, who's on the plug? Me? Maybe you? try not to use YouTube.